Good to go. All right, we're back. Uh, Matt had to leave. Uh, nothing to do with his job or being associated with uh, terrible people like ourselves or the sensitivity around this next segment. It was a completely unrelated matter. Uh, he had to go. We thank him very much for being on the show. Well, if it makes you feel any better, viewers, listeners, what actually happened was is on camera, um, Matt hugged his partner, and that had to go. That had to go. So the cops came and um, removed him from the premises and uh, free Matt. Yeah, luckily the cops in this town still working, which is a segue to our next topic from ABC News here. We have a story wherein entire police department resigns. What? Say, yeah. Saying, a whole department? A whole police department saying town seemingly cares so little about us. It's a goddamn right. shame. And the, uh, the first paragraph, all four members of a police department resigned suddenly and without notice, saying they could no longer work for a town that, yeah, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, no, I love this. this. This is worker solidarity in action. Yep. I'm, I, I, I'm compelling cops everywhere to walk out in solidarity with this department. Resign now or, or be a scab for life. Listen, no one's free until we're free to do whatever the hell we want and make sure other people aren't free. Uh-huh. But until then, we're not free. You know who would make uh, a great strike blockade? All those prisoners you got locked up in there. Am I right? Put them to work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, just bring them out of the cage and say, hey, dudes, we need your help. And yeah. they'll be like, hell yeah, proletariat, rise up. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. We're all gamers here. Rise up. Like, I'm <laughs> sure they all play games. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. This is just like the real, the real deal. This oh. story is so fucking funny. It's yeah. great because, like, who, who do we predict deplorables are going to care about it's a, it's a toss-up right it's a toss-up much like last week it's a very interesting conundrum do we care about would, religious would freedom or do we care about like political overreach you know yeah it's, or do it's, we care about cops at this point you know it's not do you, are they are they like picking the lesser two evils or are they like picking the more of the two righteous it's it's that one it's okay. that one because yeah. it's like Oh, government officials quitting quitting the dole, getting off that government teat? I love it. I'm into it. Or is it cops sticking up for themselves, stand, standing up to an underfunded government? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's difficult because they, they need our support, man. I love just entire police department resigns at once. It's just four people. Yeah, just four guys. It's like... That, that police station right there, it's like packing the president and vice president on the same plane. You know what I'm yep, saying? Yep, exactly. Uh, all four members, blah, blah, blah. The four officers, including interim police chief Roberta Sarnacki, notified the community select board by email Monday night. I mean, that kind of rules, like, just email your boss that you quit. Like, don't even come in. I would like to apologize for my statement earlier when I said these four guys, um, Roberta, sorry about that. I meant to say these four dudes, um, <laughs> these four, these four cop bros. Um, I'm sorry. If you're, if you're, if you're a cop, you're like a cop bro. I don't sure. care what, what you present as you're definitely sure. a bro, bro cop. If Roberta hadn't been fired or hadn't quit, she definitely would have been fired for wearing like a proud boys thong <laughs> online or something, you know? Yeah. I just pictured a Proud Boys thong, and that's like a, 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 a Fred Perry thong with like the yellow stripe. And what sucks is that's fucking tight, and they ruined it. It would and be it makes me tight. so mad. It would be pretty tight, like a black thong with like yellow piping around yeah, the edges. Yeah, that'd be so yeah. cool. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's got the little the little the filigree thing on the front. It's a little Fred Perry. Right. Yeah. Filigree. Uh, yeah. The, the, they cited safety issues, say that five times fast, and insufficient remuner, remuneration, cruisers with shoddy brakes, <laughs> ill-fitting, like you don't need Antifa in this town. Yeah, it's, just, it's all disintegrating anyway. City council sounds pretty badass to me. Cruisers with shoddy brakes, ill-fitting ballistic vests. Okay, is it that the ballistic vests are ill-fitting or is it that these cops are like ill-fitting? The wrong for size the for the vest. Yeah, totally. Yeah. 
I don't know if we're calling them like fat or skinny, but either way, whichever one they're taking offense to, that's what I'm calling them. Well, I'm saying they're piggish, you know, oh, okay. in nature. Because see uh, me, I'm like I'm like what you would call skinny fat, so I'm just between. I would never call you skinny fat. I I would I would embrace I'm I'm trying to embrace it. Okay. Yeah. I'd probably just call you the fucking big ass dude. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but like height yeah. wise, yeah. you know, and girth. You know? True. True. Yeah. Strong. I've been described as thick. Yeah. Not from the back though. <laughs> Lacking in the cheeks. Faulty radios. <laughs> just can't can't get fucking CCR f- worth a damn. Understaffing and low pay. <laughs> Faulty radios like AMFM. Get out of here. I wish. <laughs> you know that you, I, because I'm on the like when I'm on like the phone with like my mom who lives in that kind of a crazy area. Twenty minutes of this twenty five minute conversation is. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm gonna move right here. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I, I, I hope they suffer through that every day for like really urgent things. No, yeah, that would be great. Like, what's the address? Got nothing. Can't hear you. Nothing. Nothing. Sorry. I'll just wait here. Yeah. <laughs> just wait here until you get it. I uh, know I'm good. I'm not going to move. You call me back. Just like using Morse code by like clicking the thing. Uh, we, reser- we refuse to put our lives on the line anymore for a town that seemingly cares so little about us. The officer said in a media st- I just love it. Just so fucking, so, so uh, petty about this. This town that has gotten along with four officers for so long is a life and death situation for said officers. Sounds like they're pretty self-sufficient. Yeah. Sounds like they got things handled. I feel like they just quit the most chill job. Yeah, that's a really good point. I feel like they had a job where they were able to say like, like, God damn it, Joe, just put it down. <laughs> just put the gun down. And they'd be like, okay. And then you see him at dinner the next day. Yeah. Yeah, you're only saving one cat per day. Like, no no one watched the Andy Griffith show and thought, like, oh, he needs to be paid more. They just thought, he has a lovely, charming life. Uh, he did need to get paid more, though. I mean, come on. Just these desks are wearing out from putting my heels up there every night. <laughs> My heels are wearing out from putting on the desk up there. <laughs> the officers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, none of this. Uh, honestly, it was a surprise for us that the police chose to walk out. Latendra told the station, Massachusetts State Police released a statement saying it will continue to provide police protection to Blanford. So state cops coming in, crossing that picket line. <laughs> Which really ruined my, mm-hmm. uh, my, my master plans of moving to a town that has no cops to, uh, you know, open up my criminal ring <laughs> i was gonna really start start pushing weight through there all the illegal things isn't that the plot to like an arnold schwarzenegger movie oh, it has to be last stand that's actually the origins of terminator that all started because some police force was underappreciated uh yeah necessity breeds invention of the t2 <laughs> okay so first comment here um one of the top comments, this this comment section was real fun because like anarchists and socialists and communists got their hands on it and we're just like having a ball in the comment section. So the top comment was like a dude who said he was a, a pizza delivery driver and he was like, I got to fix my own fucking car. Why can't they fix theirs? True, true story. <laughs> Which I love. It's a good take. It's a real good take. Hey, why don't they man up and fix their cars? <laughs> uh, Yeah. So Manette Cox replies, from your statement, I fully understand why you deliver pizzas. So this is a common, like, reply to the guy, like, clearly you're a pizza delivery driver because you're such a fucking idiot with this comment. Yeah. These are all people who think, like, cops are smarter than, like, pizza delivery guys, Um, which is hilarious to me. Yep. You know you have to be dumb to be a cop, right? Yeah, it's, like, part of the whole thing. It's... It's part of the test. You have to take a dumb test. To, to you can cop. you can test out of the cops. It's like a <laughs> it's an option. Yeah, yeah. I just went straight to cops too. Yeah. <laughs> I tested out. <laughs> they promoted me. I went. I went. I jumped the line. And went straight to police academy four. Well, see, they knew I was too smart for this, so they they gave me a security job. <laughs> Might I also add, Manette Cox asks if she can add, thank you for being employed. So, great. Thank Great, cool. weird, weird take. You're welcome for wanting to live. This is the same exact comment as, jobs are great. Yep. That we had a couple episodes ago. 
Just like the nonsense that comes out of people's yeah. mouths. Yeah. Thank you for being employed. The, the things that we're expected to be grateful for is so crazy. Like people, I, I, I have a job that I got. I, y- y'all remember when I didn't have a job. So on to job number six. And um, this one's like a, a good one, right? It's like a good one. Um, in the sense that I have like things like um, I have benefits now and I have mm-hmm. a four one k. Well, I say you got one benefit, which is having a job. I, am I right? That's the most important. Am I right? Thing. Yeah. And people are like, yeah, that's right. That's what's important. <laughs> but then I'm like, yeah, but I still can't pay my motherfucking bills, and I have like two. I have like two <laughs> bills, and I can't pay them shits. It's crazy. My favorite benefits from my job are self satisfaction, uh, integrity. Uh, the yeah. respect of, of my wife. I like that I can wake up every morning and look in the mirror and know that I'm I'm earning earning what I don't have. Right. Those are, those are those are fringe benefits. Uh, yeah, the army is hiring too. FYI. I, I cool. I, get paid slightly more maybe than a police the pizza delivery guy. I almost want to also like, die. I want to almost like legit try to sign up for the army because I know they won't take me now at Ooh. this point. Just so I can say that I tried. Yeah. And then, you know. Rub know, it in everyone's face. Maybe I should, like, call, like, Vice and make a reality show out of this and we can finally get paid. But that would rule. Vice cool, would definitely cool. do awesome. that. Dear Vice. Yeah. We I could have pretend, a hilarious yeah. idea. We could pretend that I'm a white supremacist. You know, pretend. And uh, <laughs> be like, this, this African-American man does a podcast with a white supremacist? How does that work? You know, it, he, he sounds like a real millennial. I bet he's not down to join the army. Like that's a that's a legit Vice article. Is like yeah. this this neo Nazi married a black woman. Yeah, yeah. And then slowly became not a Nazi anymore. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> because she fucked him enough. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how it works. I just figured if I you know put it down on him every once in a while, he would, <laughs> I could just. Uh, Jody Powers Sanchez. <laughs> says snowflake pigs and her avatar is uh a young lady facing down a riot cop and this doesn't look like a stock photo i don't think they make that stock photo no, <laughs> right like no. it's got to be a real photo they don't yeah they don't make like stock photos they don't like as as, cra- as crazy as stock photos are if you go to like shutterstock and you google like combating fascism still nothing comes up <laughs> You know, smash the patriarchy. Nothing's going to come up. But if you're like grandma cutting kids with butcher knife, that comes up. Oh, yeah, up. absolutely. No, yeah, I'm I'm picturing like a burning limo with like the Shutterstock crosshairs over it, you know? <laughs> well, because, I mean, how else do you like find gnarly images of millennials? That's what Shutterstock's for is creating. Yeah. Them. I mean, that or Instagram, right? Okay, next comment. Replying to Jody Powers Sanchez, who says, Snowflake pigs! Uh, Nancy Zucker Brain says, What is it with the word snowflake that you trumpeteers love so much? I guess it's trumpeters. Yeah, uh, I like trumpeteers, though. The three trumpeteers. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's old. I was, like, punching it up as I was reading it. Yeah. I think it's old already and immediately puts the user into a category of the ignorant and uninformed. Very sad. It's just like talking like Trump in your anti-Trump comment. Sad. It's so yeah. It's so transparent and so misinformed. It's so great. I. It's obvious that the first person was not. Is not a Trump trumpeter. Yeah. Not a trumpeteer. A trumpetee. Maybe That's not maybe what they are. Nancy thought that uh, Jody Powers was the riot cop in that photo. Oh, that's that's possibility. Yeah, maybe. But what definitely happened was they read the word snowflake and stopped reading, and that yeah, was it. Yeah. Even though pigs is in all caps. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, just like, I don't know, just not knowing what the word pig means. Yeah, something. Uh, I think it's old already. Ignorant. It's, it's ignorant when you call us snowflakes. Yeah, exactly. Us pigs. And then Claire Rose Caldwell in this same thread says, Nancy, because they don't have the intellect to actually come up with a rational and well thought out response for debate. Ellipses. Holy shit, the logic in that comment. Whew. The diction. You can't, you can't argue facts. It's just uh, everyone knows that in order for a fact to be a fact, it has to have so many syllables. Yeah. That's just math. 
you ever like see a see a fucking sucker and you just got to do one of those because they don't have the intellect to actually come up with a rational and well thought out response for debate to them? I actually used that exact line in a rap battle the other day. I, I always an MC sorry. battle with some friends and I just smoked them all with that one. I always come out up with well thought out responses for debates. And then Brandy Elson replies, "Sorry, but we quote Trumpsters as you call us." Aren't the cop haters? That Jody chick is a crybaby liberal thug who is obviously unable to come up with her own words. <laughs> she can't come up with her own cool, yeah. her own cool disses like Using snowflakes. Hey, don't appropriate my my Trump culture, okay? <laughs> oh my god! No, trust me, Democrats are are perfectly capable of coming up with their own cringy insults. Facts, uh, I- like like what Trump and Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't associate that trash with my party. So literally, like the smartest person in this comment section, the Trump supporter is it is a garbage person. Yeah. Oh man, I also love the concept of a of a crybaby thug. No, it's beautiful. That's this person saw just watched the baseball clip <laughs> and saw two dark men, uh, you know, cuddling and said, "Look at those crybaby thugs." <laughs> No, I mean, there was like, I'm just remembering this now, but there was a meme of Obama in a diaper, and it said on the diaper, it said thuggies. Yes. So literally like a crybaby thug. I'm pretty sure thuggies was like a, a living color skit. <laughs> sure. And they were like boxer. If not, then yeah. we need to redo living color and get me on the writing staff. Again, just trying to get paid. We're just trying to get paid. Yeah, no, crybaby, liberal, thug, snowflake, lib, t- just like all the mush oh, in this yeah. person's brain coming out at once. Yeah. Uh, Mike Anthony Dotson. I'm going to say his name. We got Mike Dotson here. Nobody, nobody <laughs> no one cares. cares. No one cares. No one cares. Dotson over here. Community-based protection, LMFAO. So this was a response to uh, to somebody on our side. Beautiful young man, can't remember his name, said, uh, good, good that these cops quit. Now the community can start, like, enforcing its own protection and, like, you know, organizing around what the community actually needs. Community-based protection is what they said. Mike Anthony Dotson replies, community-based protection, LMFAO. (sighs) Who still does that? Yeah. Who still does all of that? Uh, The the group LMFAO. Yeah, that's That's it. That's who does it. Welcome, okay. LMFAO, quote, welcome to the wild, wild west, people. Kill or be killed. Because who needs police, right? And yeah, my response to this was just like, yeah, if you hear about their, the absence of police and your mind immediately jumps to kill or be killed, like, you might be the psychopath. Yeah, exactly. You might be the ones uh, who are the dangerous ones. No, I think that what this person is recalling is, I, I'm, I do think that we need to know our history so we don't repeat history. And I remember watching this documentary about this town in the Wild West um, where basically there was, like, no law. There was just a couple of outlaw law people. And um, this man was able to build a giant spider, a mechanical spider, and just wreaked havoc around the towns. And it was awful. That sounds like a particularly wild, wild west. It was a wild, wild west. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it was... It was crazy times. I love this. Like, no police. Guess guess we better purge. Guess we're just purging tonight. Yep. <laughs> like, the law, the law and order party would definitely be the first people to start raids. Oh, absolutely. Definitely be the first first militia, first posse rounding up stragglers. If, if Yeah, exactly. If kill or be killed. <clears throat> what, what is your... What is going to be the criteria of who dies? It's the same thing with, you know, this, like, white panic about white genocide. Like, it's all just... Uh, subconscious desire to eliminate the other coming you know it's projection it's projection about what your ass has wanted to do to the other for so long and the fear of that happening to you speaking of um speaking of white genocide um i just celebrated the uh the fifth anniversary of my of my contribution to white genocide happy birthday baby i love you happy fifth birthday um we're gonna we're gonna make them all brown uh, does miscegenation count if uh, it's like a mixed race couple? I mean, if it's uh, a same-sex couple, uh, is it not as, miscegenation? As anymore? long as they like 
adopt somebody and influence them with like lots of cultures i don't know <laughs> like no. would old-timey racists like they would still be against that. oh they would still yeah. be against it yeah. yeah i mean they would be so against, against they would be against letting them be around kids in the first place so yeah True. before Kel- you know it, all the kids are gonna know how to dance it's gonna be crazy <laughs> kelly bally says uh and we are going to see this happen more and more so like cops quitting and we're going to see this happen more and more if we don't start showing our officers how much they are appreciated and that we care about their safety, too. <laughs> so, like, oh, no. Can you, can, you, can you imagine the poor broken-hearted soul that has a blue, a blue, blue Lives Matter, like, strip across the back of their truck in this town? <laughs> He's just broken. Just crying, like, yeah. I put the sticker on my car. That's how you can do me. I well, told you I loved you, and you're just going to up and leave? What are you doing with only one car? Buy another car, put another put another blue strip of painter's paint on it. I haven't watched a football game in a year. <laughs> one year. I did that for you. What is it, like Keurig? Yeah. I've, like, I've like destroyed a lot of Keurigs. Yeah. Uh, you know how long it takes me to brew my coffee? I waste to have a pot every day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh no! Better, better start respecting and appreciating cops, or else they'll all quit. I, I do also love the fact that um, so we live in this world where a society. We live in this society. Yeah. We live in this um, uh, this this democratic republic, <laughs> uh, where there are millions of dollars, millions of dollars floating around of profit from sales of Blue Lives Matter merchandise. Mm-hmm. Yet. Cops lost their jobs because they couldn't be financially supported. Like, what if they just made a fucking shirt for this? What is what is this fucking name? The town, uh, Bland, Bland, Blanton? It's Blandford. Blandford? What if we just made some Blandford strong shirts? Make some Blandford strong make shirts. Some, make some make some milked in wristbands. Fucking put a put a goddamn filter over an American flag, Blandford strong shirts, and then they they can. They can pay for their kid's school easily with that sales from that shirt. It was on, like they were going to be subsumed by the state police either way. Like that's what was going to happen. They Not were if we sell enough shirts. <laughs> um, next comment. They should have written grunt style and been like, "Listen, we need your help." Yeah, Adam would have. Adam would have done it to him. Uh, Adam wouldn't do shit. What's up, Adam? <laughs> Still waiting for it. Jackie Young says, this is one of my favorite comments, Priorities are all screwed up if they won't maintain the vehicles, vests, etc. I bet the teachers buy their own school supplies too. Pathetic. We're all going to have to protest something. Everything is so skewed right now. Uh, Jackie, again, you know, you're not wrong. We do need to protest the fact that teachers need to pay for their own supplies because that happens everywhere across the United States. Sure. So you have this weird knowledge of this happening, but you are also think that the same fund is for cop cars? Yeah, well, no. I mean, it's like it's a pretty lib take to love teachers and cops. That's super. Well, who That's else? like centrist. That's like peak centrism. Dude, I. I yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony is like really sketchy. Really me pushing, out here. really pushing the limits. Please get that tail on the frame. There it is. There it is. There's, there it is. <laughs> Where's that yes. butt? Yes. Mm-hmm. You're, you're putting the camera out of focus. It's got to focus on your butt if it goes in front. There you go. <laughs> get out of here, Tony. Um, but So, no, let me... So, yeah. I love the idea... We're all going to have to protest something. Like, just imagine, like, starting a protest, like, on behalf of cops and then immediately getting shot. Yep. <laughs> just, like, Com- immediately getting, getting rammed, rammed with, with a cop, cop car. <laughs> yep, because that, that could totally happen. Yeah, just getting just getting fucking tear gas to try and get them a raise. Uh, that, yeah, I, I, love I, it. I, I could see that. Also, <laughs> it's just the same thing as like the Proud Boys. It's just, it's like, let's go let's go out and march in support of our president. Yeah, he yes. needs our support. He needs our he needs our our power, our I, manpower. I need to do the smallest tangent real quick. Yeah. So, um, a local hero from our town. Are you familiar with what's going on with this person? So look here from our town. Um, uh, the old bouncer from the bar that I was a bouncer at. Oh, yeah. Dude. Has recently we become. Can, we can call him out. Oh, we're going to. Yeah, okay. He, he's recently become like a fucking. Uh, uh, someone who's being called out for being a piece of shit, bigot, 
um, Kim Sargente. Yeah, yeah. This you, motherfucker. You could say he's like real proud of he's, being. He, he's a he's, a, he's a proud boy. He's a was it power prayer? What, what, what patriot was? prayer. He's a I patriot don't, prayer. He's guy? definitely proud boy. He was definitely at, proud boy. He's the guy that's in Oregon. Like flo- he's one of the guys that was in Oregon floating around on Twitter, and he wears like big ass big oversized sunglasses. aviator sunglasses, and he's, he's super short. He's always worn them. Um, uh, yeah, he's always worn them forever. Like we know this guy from. Ooh. Okay, Tony. Tony messing up the lighting. God, God. You're lucky this is such a fun episode, Tony. You're lucky you're so beautiful, Tony. Uh, yeah, so this motherfucker, uh, this guy sucks so bad. For a long time. He's always sucked. He's always been a piece of shit. Our friend has a restraining order against him. Yeah. <laughs> multiple people have, multiple women have restraining order, orders against him because he's an awful human. Um, y- yes. Exactly. I'm looking at a picture of him with a filter over it that says, it's okay to be white. Yeah, um, he had a, he had another filter that said, uh, I'm for putting kids in cages. Yes. Yeah, just like leaning in, leaning in to being a, a total cretin. So this motherfucker is such a piece of shit that there's a video of him in Oregon where he had just got an altercation with somebody on his side mm-hmm. with the Proud Boys. This woman pepper sprayed him. Oh, is that uh, what happened? Got pepper spray on him and he punched her. Because and then she went on to accuse him of saying, "No, you're a leftist plant." Yeah, I saw that part. He is such a piece of shit that they're like, you, "There's no way you're with us. You're here to make us look bad." No, and I want to say, I want to say, like Kim, uh, he is a leftist. He's he's a bigot, you know, on the left. Uh-huh. We're actually all bigots. We're like the real racists, you know. We're what the mean? real racists, yeah. But he is on the left, and we have implanted him with Patriot <laughs> Prayer. With the Proud Boys. Don't tell anyone. His life may be in danger. It's a secret. Yeah, but this fucking piece of shit, man. It was just so... It was so crazy seeing one There's of these, like, viral-ish bigots being somebody that we not only know, but, like, have problems with because he's always sucked. I mean, he, like... If he could have been a cop, he would have loved to have been a cop. But it just didn't work out for him. Instead, he became a bouncer and the shittiest bouncer. Yeah, it's great because like uh, the the conversation is like they're bickering over which one of them is a leftist plant. It's it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty great. So sorry. Just speaking of um, causing a riot that like shoots yourself in the foot. That's kind of what he's doing by yeah. being so bad at it. That he's yeah, it's kind of productive. Yeah. So uh, fuck you, Kim. Fuck you forever. Um, I'll say it to your face. I have said it to your face. So I'll do it again. Well, you're you're a bouncer with him, so you can say that. Never with him. I I definitely um took over for him, and I every single day that I worked. Oh, you I, didn't work out, huh? Uh, every single day that I worked there, uh, people were just so grateful that it was me there and not him, because he's such a piece of shit. Next comment here, Preon Evans says, "Love this take too." Did they reach out to the community to have them all come together and write their local representatives? <laughs> so like this. <laughs> to any normal person, this sounds this sounds like like he's making fun of him, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it does, but it's not. It's like it, it sounds like he's mocking him. Oh, did you write your congressperson? Yep. To keep yep. your job? Yep. Because <laughs> because yeah, that's a totally like uh, effective thing you can do to I would, not get fired. I would love a scenario where like a cop comes up to me and says, "Hey, so listen, I really need your support right now. Um, we just need more money." <laughs> I need you to write a letter in support of this. I I I would get shot for laughing too hard. <laughs> it would happen. They would call oh, my laughter a hate crime. He's reaching for his sides. <laughs> <laughs> he he's already not breathing, so he's, he's good. He already can't oh, breathe. Oh fuck. Uh, 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 sounds like they took their work frustration out on the townspeople. You know, the people they're supposed to protect and serve. So this is this is like a liberal who's like angry at the cops for quitting for abdicating their duties. I like I like this yeah. weird milk toast taste take. I also like how they think this is how cops take out their frustrations <laughs> on the community. Yeah, please please do it this way more often. I no, I now I think about it, I remember I remember calling back to it. I remember pulling up on the scene with my dad on the curb and the cop said Listen, man, I've had, like, a long week. Dinner hasn't ready all week when I got home. My fucking kids listen to rap music. I I didn't mean to do this. Sorry. 
I just said take my frustrations out I, on your dad's arm. In I've seen places. I've seen a lot of shit this week. Uh, even today, like five minutes ago, I, I saw myself break this dude's arm. Like it just put me in a real <laughs> fucked put, up headspace. Yeah. It's hard to watch. It's you don't get used to feeling the snap. You think you do? I keep on trying, hoping I get used to it, but I just can't get used to it. Hey, man up, Snowflake. That's what you told him? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Clifford D. Hampton says, I've been saying for a couple years, I think it's time our officers show the public what it's like without them. I think the military should do so as well. Again, second that, please. It's like these amazing com- – like – you want to talk about bipartisanship between the DSA and the right wing? Here we go. Here it is. Here we go. We can agree on this. You, we, we agree to abolish the police and ICE. Your side is doing it for spite yep. and, like, to prove a point. Cool. Yep. You know what we should do? You should disband the military and the police force. That would really show America. You know, yeah, please. That would be so tight. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I like, feel like if I woke up tomorrow and there was no police force, I would, like have a sensation in my, my shoulders that is just a tension being released. I don't know what it is. I, would, I wouldn't I would be able to lift my arm because I'm so relaxed. It would be crazy. Prison abolition to own the libs. Yeah, dude, yeah. totally. Uh, I I love this. Like, when when California released, like, the nonviolent offenders, like, right-wingers everywhere loved it. Like oh, yeah. they, they loved it because they're so sure that like California is going to get what's coming, yep. what's coming to it. So like, yeah, you could totally get Republicans to sign on to totally. This. Yeah. They weren't violent this time. You just wait. Just wait. Just what wait. do you think the prison system does to them? Everyone knows that marijuana leads to violence. Last comment here from Flora Morton. We didn't get a lot of good profile pictures today. But uh, this one, this one's definitely counted among them. Uh, Flora Morton, who's like middle-aged woman, maybe a little older, wearing a straw hat, big old sunglasses. I can't tell if this is like this puka shell necklace for sure. For right? sure, puka shell ne- necklace, teal green blouse, and her own name written in like flowers and vines, or maybe pipe cleaners above her head, just chilling. Just straight fucking chilling. Yeah. Hard. Uh, Flora Morton says, to blindly go where no cops have been before. Aloha to all. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I just don't. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like some like, like deep cut margarita bill like <laughs> lore that I don't get. Okay, let's try to figure it out. So, to blindly go where no cops have been before. This could mean, like, a couple things. This, at least a couple things. Just, like, A, unemployment. Like, because if, cause if you're not, not a cop, then you're not a cop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't go there because you're not a cop anymore. Yeah, I mean, well, most times, like, cops, like, lose, like, can't have their jobs anymore. They still get, you know, paid leave. But, yeah. No, sorry, you have to, like, kill a guy for that. But, you know... It, <laughs> Sometimes I've heard of that. Well, and also, like, plenty of cops have gone to just other police precincts. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. you get fired for, like, you know, assaulting a woman on duty or whatever. You just move over a little bit. Yeah, just, just scoot over. Just move over counties, maybe. But yeah, to blind, or to blindly go where no cops have been, I don't know, like, into the great beyond. She's just, yeah. like, straight up, like, see you later. Maybe this is a reference to that uh, Star Trek episode where they go to, like, the copless planet, and it's just chaos. Uh-huh. And, like, you know, liberal things are happening everywhere. Well, see, that's because it's it's that same planet where it's, like, they're, the people are half black and half white, and other people are half white and half black, but none of them are blue. <laughs> it's a real big problem. Uh, to blindly go where no cops have been before. Aloha to all. I think Aloha she's literally all. saying bye to all cops. Yeah, yeah. I think she's just saying peace out to all cops. Which, like you said, it is a difficult thing to, you know, comprehend because aloha does mean hello and a goodbye. Uh-huh. Is, maybe she's, like, saying hi to the comment section. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, this just feels wholesome. I, it feels good. I feel like aloha to all is, like, just their 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 foot, their, what you, their tag, their signature okay. to everything they put anywhere on the internet or uh-huh. anywhere. Their phone, their whatever they use, automatically puts aloha to all at the end of whatever they're saying. Right. Well, with that comment, we'd like to say aloha to you, aloha. the listener. 
because uh, that's it. That's the end of the show. Thank you so much for listening. Few reminders here. We are Camin. We're Cam straight up hard. Camin. So yep. the easiest way to do this for now is you go to the Instagram page at Minion Death Cult yep. and you click on that link and it'll take you right to our YouTube page. Listen. Or you can just search Minion Death Cult on YouTube Guys, and find it, it. Unless you're going to our YouTube video, you can't see my amazing dragon piece I'm camming with right now. <laughs> Can you guys see my amazing it's one dragon of those piece? Black and white aliens. I it's was a black about. and white dragon. Maybe this is a horse piece, but it's definitely a piece that you guys have to go onto the YouTube to see. But it's definitely there. It's definitely fucking adorable. Yep. Uh, second of all, we we uh, we did a video. All right. So California Highway Patrol released one of those uh, completely obnoxious, totally abhorrent lip sync challenge videos. Set to California Love, set to uh, California Girls, set to California Dreamin', like every you know song with California in the title. And the video is is in, is like stomach churning. The video it's, is nauseating, especially when you consider how much it costs to make. It's it's them fucking with lowriders. It's them like pretending to be a hair metal band. Uh, it's a bunch of important shit. And, and you know, I, I like to ignore those lip sync challenge videos done by cops, but, uh, this one, I just, I could not abide. Yeah. Could not abide by it. So I went ahead and made my own edit of the video, including some of CHP's greatest hits, mm -hmm. such as the video of that officer mounting the woman on the side of the freeway and punching her repeatedly in the face. Uh, where is it? I can't remember which which it is, but it's those cops that just hold a uh, attack dog on a man who's already handcuffed and mm -hmm. subdued. And unfortunately, I couldn't include like all the screaming he did because there was like ominous music playing over it on the on the news clip. But I cut all these into the video of of the uh, CHP lip sync challenge, so you get like California dreaming while canine units are attacking a subdued man. Remember, guys, this is how we need to support our boys in blue. Is like. By, you know, giving them this... If, if we share this video, then maybe the California CHP won't go out of business and quit on us. So, please share the video. Show them that they're appreciated. That you're, wa that you're paying attention to what they're doing. Listen, if the, if, the, if the Kiki Challenge can get all this love, let's show our boys in blue some love. Yeah, and so, second of all, subscribe to the Patreon. Get two episodes every week. So, you get this episode for free, obviously. And then you get another episode just as good this Thursday. Yeah. P A T R E O N dot com slash minion death cult. Finally, huge announcement. Giant. You want to take this one, Tony? Um, guys, if uh, you've been waiting for a way to show people that you're fucking down for the cult, um, maybe you can go to minion death cult dot com and pre order the t shirt. It's the t shirt up. is up and um, it's pretty fucking tight. It's it's amazing. Uh, our buddy Twinkie did the cover art, with, or did the bre the, the 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 pocket print, the pocket print, which you can see if you're following us on YouTube. It's the logo we keep on the front. It's a uh, pretty tight black metal font, uh, hand drawn by our buddy who do, who's done a lot of our friends' bands album covers. And the back is a collage done by uh, Tony himself, which is fucking amazing. It's a collage of a dude we found who literally runs a boomer meme page with like 100,000 likes. And this dude is incredible. He's an incredible sight yeah. to behold. You need to look at this shirt. Uh, so go to the Instagram to check it out at, um, at Minion Death Cult or just go to the website. We have a website now, MinionDeathCult.com. Pre-order this shirt. If you sign up for the Patreon, we're going to be giving away one or two shirts yeah. to Patreon subscribers. We haven't quite settled on one or two. I mean, we, we, we'll probably do two if enough of you guys do it. Right. That sounds good. Yeah, get I them, like that. Get them on there. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, hey, if you guys, if a lot of you folks sign up, then who knows? We might give away 100. 100 shirts. Shirts to the Patreon subscribe. You never know. Um, okay, so... That's that's up there. Check out that shirt. Pre-order it now, especially if you wear a larger or smaller size than normal, yeah. so we know to make that one. Um, MinionDeathCult.com, Patreon.com, slash MinionDeathCult, YouTube, MinionDeathCult. Thank you so much for listening, folks. Bye. Thanks, fam.